what's up everybody welcome welcome to gaming tech you see a lot of products from glorious here you remember my friend who wanted to have a custom keyboard he gave me the honor to complete this process here we see different kind of switches clicky tactile linear clicky and so forth it's the glorious sample switch pack for his build we'll be using link switches i will be personally lubing these i'm actually thinking about filming the entire process of it then we will add switch films to it Some of the products are gifts to me personally. I tend to get pain when I play several hours whenever I'm free. You know what I'm doing, Fortnite of course. Glorious Model I mouse. Very nice texture, similar to Logitech G05. I still prefer Rogue Carries, but I will be testing this mouse on Doom Eternal. I might make a live stream, who knows, if I have the time. But Logitech is way too heavy. That mouse is legendary for a reason, but with that weight and the feel, in my opinion, it's outdated. Model I has some replaceable buttons as well. loads of link switches i told him look i have never done this procedure so he got me extra switches just in case if i would end up ruining some of them linear switches you can loop them as you wish for tactile ones you need to be careful where you loop wrist pad this is his the small one was for me he got me brushes the tools required for it. So the man did actually pay a lot of money for his keyboard. He's thinking about getting another custom, which is gonna be much more expensive than this build, which I have the honor to build once again. Appreciate it, brother. Here is his keycaps. Don't judge the man, guys. Everybody has different preference. He just likes this color with the black theme. I think it's going to look phenomenal. As you see, there's going to be loads of mods done to this keyboard. So I have no idea how it will sound and feel. PBT keycaps. They look nice. I like the color personally also. Still using that Corsair K95 with pink keycaps. Don't judge me also. I stole it from my wife. The stabilizers, we will swap them out. Apparently the stock ones are horrible. This was his request. Got the film for it also. This is a switch puller. They don't recommend this to use at all. Because it can scratch the board. Switch opener. I did test it can say it's good i think i need to open like 80 switches which is gonna be horrible experience for my fingertips as you can see i did some test runs not sure if i'm doing it entirely correct but you're supposed to press it and there are two clasps that push against the switch the way you open the stem and the spring and everything else Basically, we're going to loop this entire mechanism. I will also hand loop the spring itself so he can clean his keyboard. The only thing we're missing is a case where he can protect his keyboard, which is also on the way. We have a cloth there, antibacterial treated along with a blower and a brush. Pretty basic stuff. A brush from Glorious. 
He got me extra ones as well. Keycap puller. His coiled cable, which is gonna match with the rest of the keycaps. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. Here are the switch films that I have to apply on each switch itself between the switches basically so the mechanism don't wobble from kbd fans these are gonna sit around the switch so it keeps the switch in a stationary position each one of these is gonna be handmade by me so uh, I'm sure the guy is excited. I don't know how many hours it's going to take. I have zero experience. Here is the space bar. Foam that we're going to put under the space bar for the stabilizers. And here we have switch pads. One is soldier, the other one is for 3 and 5 pin. We will be using the 3 and 5 pin. G loop, hope the lube is enough. Lubing board. Apparently it's gonna make the entire process easier. I've no idea. Made out of acrylic. With a nice top. It looks really nice to be honest. Pricey. Hey, the man is paying and he's insisting, so why not? You apply this as a fit on the lubing station. I'll be honest, forget about the keyboard. What I was most excited about was the mouse pad. So you can have your stem, you can have your spring the switch itself you just take your loop from that right direction looking like this i might ask another uh, switch opener if the entire process is gonna be very painful with this let's pack everything up gonna go out and do this entire process in nature i prefer that way not fun being locked up in the office doing it for several hours. Apparently you gotta be very careful with this mouse pad. It's glass infused, so you can actually see glass particles shining. I never used it, it is extremely smooth. They claim it's cold to the touch. I don't know. But the glide is very nice. Gotta try this in Fortnite for sure. I'm actually really, really interested in this. Apparently they have elements, fire, ice, and air version. Here is the keyboard itself, the bare bone, CNC milled from Glorious. It is for sure very interesting hobby. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. Like the video if you liked. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Let's go guys, let's loop those switches for 10 hours. I hope it won't take 10 hours to be honest. And if you want to see more videos about keyboards, I have Deltaco keyboard as well, that I did review of.